Hello everyone, this is Captain Yasmin Malik. I am an OET trainer. I welcome you all on behalf of Seabird International College of Education. So today I will be orienting you regarding OET examination. First of all, I just want to tell you the full definition. It is Occupational English Test and most of, of the people, they are aware of it that exactly it is for the 12 medical professionals. It is for the nurses, it is for the persons who are like who have done dentistry, doctors and uh, physiotherapists and many more. So I will just tell you that uh, there are the three places in which it is valid. The first one is Australia, second is New Zealand and third is Singapore. So let me discuss with the four modules. It has reading, writing, speaking, listening. It is almost similar to the IELTS exam as well as with the PTE exam. But most importantly, the, uh, the thing is that the advantage of giving this OET exam is that you people are already aware of the medical knowledge because medical knowledge is very much important in this exam because the reading or reading, listening, writing, speaking you, if you are having a medical knowledge or if you are aware of the medical terminology it will be very easy to crack this exam so the first part is I will be discussing reading it is divided into two parts that A and B in A part you will get a questions or you can say it will be a summary in this summary you will get four to five texts and after that you just have to find out some blanks or the words from the texts and the word count of the text will be around 600 words and number of questions will be around 27 to 30 but the problem is the time frame because you have to do it in the 15 minutes you can say just approximately you just have to spend only half minute on one blank this is the most important thing that you have to keep in your mind while attempting with part A and it is very easy that you just have to fill the gaps and you just have to find out it from the summarization and uh, then comes with the part B part B is of 45 minutes and it consists of two passages that we have already done during our school time as well when we were in I think you can say in senior secondary also at that time in English we used to do we, we will used to get the passages and we have to hunt for the answer and in that the type of questions will be MCQs and number of questions will be around 18 to 20 now comes you will get 45 minutes and most importantly I just want to tell you one more thing that after completing your part A, they will grab your answer sheets because don't think in that way that after completing these two passages you will get time to just complete this one, no. They will take your sheets from you and then you can start with the part B and in part B you will get OMR sheets also. I hope everybody has given the competitive exams, they might be aware of these OMR sheets, you just have to mark your answers and there will be no extra time given to transfer your answers. Okay, now comes with the listening part. Listening is also divided into two parts, that is A and B. In A part, there will be a consultation or you can say it will be a conversation between two people or it can be between any of the medical health professional. It is not at all like if you are a nurse and if you are attending for an exam, you just expect that the, there will be a conversation between patient and a nurse. No, it's not like this because I just want to tell you one thing that uh, reading and listening is almost similar to every of the 12 medical professionals. So this is it. You can say that the reading uh, part, uh, listening part A is the consultation that will be a conversation between two people, right? Or in this, you just have to write the notes because you people are already aware of the knowledge because uh, you remember that when we used to uh, go for the clinical areas at that time we used to find out that what is the present, present medical history or past medical history of the patient and what symptoms the person is facing so in that way you just have to find out the notes that's that is the most important thing and if you are from the medical background it is very easy because if I'm going to give a task to a non-medical person it will be very difficult for that person to attempt it because they are they are not aware of the medical terminology like you can say regarding you can say the symptoms dizziness nausea vomiting all these things and even sometimes the disease's name as well like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, Bell's palsy so you people are already having a background knowledge in that scenario you, it is very easy to attempt 
this listening and in part b there will be a monologue or you can say it will be a conversation it it, it is not a conversation as it was in the part a here it will be a monologue or you can say there are, there is only one person who is going to speak on one specific health topic like you just assume it can be on h1n1 or it can be on malaria or it can be on any of the disease like diabetes mellitus or something like that so in this it will be a topic on health topic only or you just have to think about it like you can say h1n1 or diabetes mellitus it can be anything and it is very easy and most importantly i just want to tell you one thing that you can write as much as you can in your listening as compared to the other exams and listenings you just have to find out the exact word from the audio that you have to hunt because the uh, the speaker is talking about so many things and then in the end he will come to the right answer but in there here in this exam you will get the directly answer and he is just going to give you the direct answers but the most important thing is that you have to practice because in listening the thing is you have to just match up the pace because the speaker will be very fast in part b but it is not at all a herculean task because if you are going to practice it then definitely you can crack this exam even our students have got a grades in this listening as well so now comes with the writing part in writing you will get 45 minutes to complete the task especially that i just want to inform you that 5 minutes you will get to read the task and 40 minutes for writing the task because don't assume that you will get 45 minutes to write it here in writing you will get only one task as we have discussed in reading and listening it is divided into two parts but here if there will be only one task that is a letter or you can say you will get case notes i hope you remember that when we used to go to our clinical areas we uh, our teachers or we, our clinical instructors you used to instruct us that we have to make a bio data or a details of the patient or uh, you can say their name marital status address social history past medical history or the medication chart what he is already taking right so in this you will get these case notes the most easiest way to just attempt is that you just have to paraphrase it you just have to paraphrase the case notes with the help of connectors like you can say moreover however therefore and so many right you just have apart from this there are so many and definitely we will let you know regarding these uh, connectors and we will tell you that how you have to use it and we will tell you the format exactly because the word count you have to write is it should be between 180 to 200 words it should not exceed the 200 because uh, our most of the students they have cleared writing but those who have not cleared most of the reason was only that they have exceeded the limit even though they have write, written it very nicely but they will definitely penalize for exceeding the word limit so you just have to focus that you should not exceed the limit try to be in 180 or 190 don't touch even 200 words so this is it and we will tell you the format and then you have to follow what i get exactly you just have to write in the letter and uh, most importantly i just want to tell you one more thing just key to success in writing is just be simple and precise if you are just going to use high five vocabulary or you can say some high five english that is not going to help you to crack this exam because what i have learned from my experience after assessing the exam results this is the best thing that you should be simple and precise so this is it regarding the writing as well as with the listening and regarding listening we are giving the extra time to the students after the classes also if you want to repeat the listening for the day you just you can stay back after 2 o'clock and even you can repeat it after 2 o'clock and just practice it as much as you can okay so now comes with the speaking module in speaking module you will get two role plays 
Before that, I just want to tell you that it is for the 15 to 20 minutes. In, uh, first of all, they will take you for some warm up questions, followed by role play one and role play two. Uh, most of the students they ask that, uh, ma'am, there will be a gap between role play one and role play two. No, it is, I have already told you that 15 to 20 minutes will be given or assigned for the speaking. So, here you, you have to just appear for the role play one, then you will get three minutes for the preparation for the next role play, and then you have to give the second role play. So this is it. First will be the warm-up questions. In warm-up questions, they will just ask you some general questions like the way they have you have just interacted with a new person. It is just like your name, place or you can say why you have joined nursing and why you have taken uh, this OET exam or why you have chosen it. So and some drawbacks or you can say some changes you want in nursing profession. These are the simple questions. No need to worry when you are going to join us then definitely we will just let you prepare for all these questions before exam approximately we just keep on practicing before exam around 10 days or 12 days before and uh, now comes with the role play one in role play one and role play two there will be two types of role plays that like you can say that is the reluctant and informative most of the students they might have seen in the clinical area that there are patients who keep on uh, what you can say nagging or they keep on cribbing that I don't want to have this medication and sometimes they don't take it but being a nurse you have to polite and you have to be humble in front of the patient so in that scenario they have they want to check your skills this is the main thing that they want to check in the reluctant topic in this you just have to be humble you uh, you have to just handle the patient with politeness this is the main key to just practice speaking. In informative role play, you can just uh, expect a person that uh, like you just assume one mother is coming to you uh, whose child has the epileptic fit. In that scenario, uh, she is quite conscious or rather I can say she is apprehensive to know about epilepsy and you just have to tell her the definition a brief definition or you can say after that you just have to the precautions that you have already learned in your second year in the medical surgical as well as in your psychiatric nursing in the third year most probably so it is very really easy to use your knowledge in speaking because as we have discussed in the writing part that in that part you cannot use your extra knowledge but here you can use because in speaking you just have to convince the patient so in informative role play you just uh, you will get a task exactly in that they will give you the question that you have to tell the definition or the precautions or you can say some uh, symptoms regarding the topic or some advice as well or the extra information from where she can get the extra information for her to enhance her knowledge so in this informative role plays you will get a task exactly and you are going to play as a nurse as a health professional so this is it in the speaking module so no need to worry about that because we will definitely give you the speaking sessions and that you will get the personal attention that you are going to play a role of patient as well as a nurse because we just want that to enhance your speaking skills or the communication skills that is really going to help you in speaking and if you have experience then definitely it will be a very good thing because uh, if you are having experience then you know that how to deal with the patients you just have to just communicate like you and me or talking or someone when you are interacting with this person that you will just have to use a communication skills and convince the other person overall i just want to tell you that all four modules are very easy but you need practice beforehand attempting the exam because the thing is if you are just going uh, without practice or you can say because most of the students I mean, ask me that uh, like ma'am how much time it is required for the preparation so uh, i just want to tell you that basically two uh, two months are quite enough but if you are thinking that I'm not at all compatible or you can say I'm not at all good enough according to the other students in the class it's better you just go with the third month rather than spending 35,000 or you can say 30,000 for the exam as for the traveling charges also it's better you just go for one month renewal and then start with this 
because the thing is i uh, this is not just like uh, it is just a personal guidance or you can say just a honest advice to you guys it's up to you whether you want to follow it or not so uh, this is it and in the writing listening speaking we will tell you the strategies because these are most important because by reading strategies are very important when you are going for the uh, exam so uh, these strategies will be discussed when you are going to join it especially we will give you the three orientation days in that you have you will be just uh, familiar you will just get familiar with the people uh, or the say the people around you and most importantly with the material regarding reading re writing speaking and listening and it will be very easy to do it and don't think that you are going to do it in the one month or two months yeah because there are so many students of us those who have cracked this exam in 40 days only but you have need practice thanks a lot